Hello everyone, Akash here. If you just got your first credit card and you're thinking how could you increase your credit limit, maybe the first credit card you just have got $300 or $500 credit limit. So you're thinking, what would be the best way I could increase my credit limit higher because $300 or $500 is not too much, it's so little. So the credit card you just have it on your hand right now, does that have any annual fee on it or very low interest and the cashback? Is that the card you have? Because if you don't have that card, there is the best way to get your first credit card is go through the local bank yes if you have a checking account or saving account with your local bank and you could just walk in there they most likely give you a card with a cashback card with no annual fee and low interest maybe they'll give you 15 months no interest nothing with that card because you have a checking account saving account even if it's your first card you don't have no credit at all that's the best way to get it because a lot of time a lot of people they tell me the first time when they got their credit card they try it online and they had to get those card with the annual fee in it and high interest and low credit limit because you know the thing is a lot of people they think that way that you know what they don't have no credit right now that's probably the only option they have no that's not the only option you have you could always walk into a bank I just told you that would be the best way to do it again you got your credit card right now let's assuming you got the credit card with no annual fee no interest for like 15 months or 12 months or cashback something similar you got congratulations if you have that one so now if you got $500 credit limit on your card at this moment right now they give it to you you don't want to use more than hundred dollar that's the best way you could do it you just have a $500 but just use $100 if that card has a cashback great use it on grocery you want to buy gas or you wanted to buy something just go don't go more than 20% if you keep that low for like three months and when I'm sure when you applied for that credit card they asked you for income your income so three months later if let's see your income went up a little bit right so you could just go online you know the most of the credit card major credit card company they have their own apps now right so you could just go in the app and you could just hit the cl uh, click button with the increased credit limit and three months just wait like two three months keep the balance really low that would be the best way to do it so this way you're gonna see your credit score is good because you know like you just got your credit card you're making payment on time and keeping your balance low that gets you put you in a good credit score yeah. so you go online on their credit card company and now you're gonna update your income so most likely the three months ago you had less income now you have more income so you just update your income and also they're gonna ask you your mortgage or rent payment you know how much they just wanted to get a general idea ab about your expense so assuming your income went up and they're gonna take a look that you have a good credit score right now at this moment and also you only using 20% of the balance you know like the whole credit limit you only using 20% so that's a really really good sign so that $500 most likely within three months I don't want you to try like you just got your card today and you're trying it next week it's not it doesn't work that way you have to build up a relationship with the credit card company with the card they're just gonna look at how long you have the card what's your credit score how much balance you have on the card they check all those things so you have it for three months that's long enough and the only five hundred dollar you have most likely they're gonna increase that to fifteen hundred to two thousand you know to see another three months how it goes you could try to get another card you know you should have two credit cards two major credit cards you know with you it doesn't matter how old you are you're 17 years old 16 years old you know as early you could build up your credit is better because 10 percent of your credit score they check how long do you have a credit card you know sometimes 15 years 20 years 30 years it builds up it adds up so as early you could get as better for you so the second credit card you definitely now you have a good credit score you could always you know try to have two different cards maybe you know you have to check check it out your lifestyle do you spend like do you travel a lot so maybe you need a mileage card do you like use a lot of like grocery or some other thing you do that you're gonna get really good cashback so if you have a one cashback card and another one you want it for travel card so that then if you travel a lot then you get that so you uh, check out what would be the best option you have what can you get more cash back and you always want to pay it on time so this way you have two cards you don't have too many crazy bill end of the month and this way you are thinking if I have $500 to spend this month on that card make sure I have the money to pay for it that's the only time you're gonna use it because a lot of people many times they don't realize that they don't have the money enough money but they run up those credit cards and then they start paying interest on those cards and interest adds up 
over the year adds up so it's always better you think behind your head that you're thinking about listen I have only $300 to pay for that card I'm just gonna run up $300 that's it so this way end of the month you have the $300 to pay it up and this way your credit builds up goes up 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 as your credit score goes up anything you wanted to borrow buy a car buy a house in future anything you're gonna save money long run a lot more money to have that good credit so you always keep two credit cards and if you got your credit card already great but if you're thinking about to get a credit card right now I would say best option the bank you have checking account saving account try that and if this video is helpful to you consider subscribe to my channel and many great video you'll find not only about credit card money saving tips that little thing in life we need so check it out and consider subscribing take care